Hello everyone, I am Umar Javed, the Partnership Manager at CyberPanel. How can you determine whether Apache is installed on your system? If your website is not using Apache, then you will see you can use secure remote access software like Bitwise to check the status of Apache and I shall tell you 5 methods to check that. First is type dpkg-get-selections vertical pipe space grep space apache and press enter. It lists all installed packages that contain apache in their name. Besides, it, in it indicates that the package apache2 is installed on the system. Second method is by giving the command system ctl space status space apache2 and press enter. It shows the active status of apache. Third method is to try the which command. Type hashtag space which space apache2 and press enter. In my case the apache binary is located in user sbin on most installation. Fourth method is for checking whether if apache is running or not. Type sudo service apache2 status and press enter and you will see the status as active. Fifth method is to check apt hyphen cache space policy space apache2 and press enter. In this case you can see it's installed on my system. I have exciting news to share. We have successfully implemented apache integration. Our apache integration combines open light speed with apache at the backend. You might wonder why we would do this. Well with this setup you get the best of both worlds. You can enjoy the speed benefits of open light speed while also having access to all the features of Apache. For instance, if you are running customized apps or specific WordPress plugins that heavily rely on HT access, then Apache would be necessary. It's important to note that even with open light speed and Apache together, your LS cache will still work ensuring maximum performance. On the front end, Open light speed will handle the traffic and pass it to Apache, which will handle the requests on the backend. Currently, this integration is supported for Alma Linux and Ubuntu. To use it, you simply need to create a website, go to the website creation page, enter your website's details and choose Apache as the reverse proxy. This setup allows your website to operate in Apache's reverse proxy mode while having open light speed in the front end. Consequently, all your HD access tools will function as they did when using cPanel or any other control panel. Once the website is created, you can manage the Apache configuration for this site through our website manager. By accessing the Apache manager, you can even switch back to pure open light speed if desired. Additionally, if a website is currently using open light speed, it can be converted to use Apache instead. In the Apache manager, you have the ability to easily edit Apache configurations. However, be cautious when making changes as incorrect configurations can result in website malfunctioning. Since our Apache configurations use PHP FPM, you can modify PHP FPM configuration specific to Apache as well. If Apache is installed, you will find the default URL for editing Lightspeed PHP configurations. To edit Apache PHP configurations, simply click on the provided URL. This will allow you to perform tasks similar to what you did with Lightspeed configurations, such as modifying post max size and upload max file size. An advanced configuration editor is also available for your convenience. Moreover, you can install PHP extensions for Apache 2. You will find the Manage Apache Extensions link which provides light speed extensions for Apache. Clicking on it allows you to install Apache extensions for your chosen PHP version. Screen like this, which says that it is using pure light speed. Whereas if it is using Apache, then you will see the screen like this, but you can always switch. So this is it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section of this video and stay tuned for more videos.